All right, we're checking out Linux Mint Debian Edition for Debbie. It's called. So I've got to boot it here live. It is the Cinnamon, and it's built on Buster. So if you don't like the Ubuntu one, you might want to give this one a shot. And there's the File Manager in Nemo 442. So here's the clock and calendar. There's your sound, internet connections, that's all that's over there. File browser. There's the terminal, it's got Firefox, and there's the cinnamon menu. So let's see what it's got. I'm just gonna scan through things here. Graphics, okay, a couple things there. Internet, got Firefox headset, that I've heard. Transmission, full LibreOffice, sound and video. Couple of video code thing install rhythm box celluloid video player all your administrative tools boot repair system monitor let's have a look at this real quick and so what is it using almost a gig of memory just booted it up and what else so uh, system reports system monitor time shift we've seen that let's see boot repair there's all the preferences places and everything so uh, it's um a debian buster so that's a plus you know if you like cinnamon and there, there's another plus um and what else i it's uh you know not bad looking i don't care for the cinnamon menu um you know a long time ago i started looking at cinnamon and I got really into it, you know, started making themes and everything, but I deleted all those videos. I do have one video showing how to make the themes, you know, with all the files. You've got to go in and change all the colors. And I just, I started liking Cinnamon, but it was back when uh, it had a problem. You know, I, I, I downloaded it and I started looking at it. I thought, you know, okay, I'm starting to like this, you know, so I installed it and everything. And when you start really, this was a long couple of years ago when you really start getting in it and really start using it it had a problem where it would just start getting locking up and doing stupid things you know that i think they fixed that since then but uh so then i started i don't know i i, I started it, it was like something just I, I started looking at it and was like man there's really nothing you can do to you know I'm, of course you can get in there and change the menu and download different ones but it, it, I don't know. I just started getting turned off about it. And the stock menu here, I, I think it's the ugliest thing in the world. I I was always hoping that they were going to update this menu. I mean, it's absolutely the ugliest menu I've ever seen. So, with that said, um, there it is. Linux Mint Debian Edition for uh, Cinnamon version 448 using Linux kernel 419. So there's that information, and it looks like everything is the same in here. Let's look at themes real quick. You got a couple there, a bunch of different color icons, a bunch of different color border, a couple of cursors, and a bunch of different themes. Now these were the themes, this was the part that I was making right here. I was just modifying these and, and these. I didn't get as far as doing other things as far as the uh, the Windows theme. Um, then I just got totally bored of it. <clears throat> so, of course, you got effects, backgrounds, kind of backgrounds you got, different backgrounds, and you got all the other ones there. That one's pretty cool. So we'll keep it on that one. And, of course, you still have all the applets. And the what's it called extensions there's no extensions okay so you can download more there and there was something else um is it applets and extensions i guess that was it and of course themes you can always download more themes let's uh, see what kind of themes they got 67 of them it says there 
So we got the adapter. You can just go through and see which one you like. They used to have a lot more in the cinnamon, what they call the spices website. Because I was low, I had a bunch of them. I was loading on there, but they since took all those off and cleaned the website up, because this thing was getting so clogged that it would take so long to uh, populate that they just thought, well, you know, most of these themes are outdated and they don't work with the new system. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and knock them all off there and clean it up. So <clears throat> that's why there's only a couple on there, but good enough, you know, most of the themes didn't work anyway, you know, so they just cleaned it all up. So there's all your other system settings, power management, you know, it's got all that printer settings, uh, hot corners, workspaces, the workspace switcher. So all that's uh, still there, counts and general settings. So, you know, it's it's not a bad system. And of course, there's more options now on the panel. You can move it all different sizes. Let's see. Go to edit panel mode and you can let's see. Where's the panel settings? And let's see, you can move it somehow and drag it. I thought it was uh, going to pull put panels all over okay I'm doing something wrong okay panel visibility okay height if you want to make it smaller larger zone let's see font size edit panel mode new panel okay let's uh, I'm doing something wrong okay no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Now what happened? Oh, no. Now I'm really... <laughs> and I, and I, I clicked no, so I don't know what happened. So let's see. Um... I need to go back to, uh, let's uh, see if I can do this, not in home, it's in um, user share applications, I need to get back to, I don't know if it's even going to put a default panel, but um, I really screwed that up. Where's the system settings? Okay, let's see if we can uh, fix this. If there's some way to get a default panel, you know, and I clicked no, so, <laughs> but I should have, I kind of panicked there. And where would uh, panel? Let's see if we can add panel. Okay, this is what I was looking for. Um, I wanted to put the panel to the top. And I don't know what I did or how I got it to delete. Let's uh, see what I did there. Uh, that was a big... Okay, I, I clicked remove. Okay, and then it says you don't have any other panels. Do you want to open... Okay, so I was thinking, do you, see, I was thinking this thing was saying, do you, you sure you want to remove it? I should have paused, and so that's what happened. Now I have to add a panel again. So that's what happened. I didn't, I, I should have paused there a little bit. And so let's see, there's the move thing. This is what I was looking for, so you can move it around. Okay, so we don't want to, okay, how do I cancel that? You mean once once it's done, you can't just cancel. Okay, you have to make a selection. Okay, so let's go back to edit panel mode because um, I want to fix something. Panel settings. Seems like these icons got kind of goofed up. Symbolic icon size. And I don't see any... Um, 
I guess they were like that. I'm going to have to look at the beginning of this video to see if th these look kind of funny now. I don't remember them being like that when I first started the video, but uh, let's see what else. Uh, add new panel, system settings. So these are the panel settings. And I don't see anything happening here when I'm changing this number. Okay, maybe I got a colored icon. Okay, scale to panel, scale, panel, size. Okay, exactly. And is there something I'm not turning on? Because I really don't see anything. Okay, that's working. Okay, that uh, show hide panel, edit panel. Okay, now why do I have all this stuff here and then it all disappears? I guess it comes when it needs to. Okay, so that's that. Um, and there's your file browser, of course, uh, terminals, you know, it's got a lot of good software already installed on it. Got Chrome, I mean, uh, Firefox, full LibreOffice, I'm sure everything's pretty new. Sound and video, you got uh, all kinds of firewall and what else you got? Um, boot repair, G -part it time shift you know it's just like uh the ubuntu base uh cinnamon build but it's on uh debian buster and we can have a look at that let's see where would that be in the software sources i'm pretty sure so there it says base buster and you got additional keys there let's see if we see anything debian 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 and um i just don't understand these icons i don't remember them being like that that's kind of weird so anyway um <clears throat> what do i think about it now well um i, I just don't like it anymore and they really need to bring it. I mean, okay, let, let's... The, the the panel is ugly. Okay, how about the software center? Let's go to the software center and see what they got for software. Uh, where's the software center? Is that up here? Software manager. Okay, here's the software manager. Let's see what you get for a software manager. The normal, ugly-looking Linux. There it is. The ugly-looking Linux software center. We'll throw some icons at you and put one little picture there. And that's all you get, you know. So let's see. You want to search for... Um, let's say you want to search for... How about... Uh, Internet. So there's your little icon list. You just get a simple little icon. And a um, couple of categories there. This the re Real basic, you know, OS doesn't look store. Have anything. This thing you know, looks really just, nice. I mean, look at it. Okay, there's got games, nice you know. Pictures, graphics at least on these and icons look the better icons than the look last fantastic. one. You know. It doesn't look like your normal but Ubuntu some, store and all those, you know, you know the, have all the look. app stores out there. But they just have that's the that. icons you know, and your, just make this thing and put them in there. And I, I mean, there's no pictures like this, no pan. graphics, you know, yeah. it looks there's good. I don't know, I understand why more, more distros can't make things like this. Get now, you can come in here. Where is it? The applets, and I think, let's see, uh, I think it's in here, the applets. Or it might be the extensions. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Let's see if there's applets, what it populates in here. And then we'll go to, uh, okay, we'll type in menu here. I don't think it's this one. Script menu, uh, custom application menu. Okay, it might be in this one. Uh, cinnamon menu with the look of Windows 7. Okay, we'll see that. 
and then we'll go back and look in extent is it extensions I can't remember we'll just see what extension has uh no it wasn't extension but they, the wobble I don't think some of these things I remember I have videos showing how to get these to work with the uh, other builds like the wobbly windows but they don't work good uh, so I don't even know why they still have I don't I haven't tested them in a while but there's the wobbly windows and desktop cube and in the older builds you had to go into the file and I got a video showing how to do that to get them to work but uh, you know they don't work that good the wobbly windows ain't too smooth man they all breaking up and everything it looks like total my man total mess so let's see how do we get this menu now um forgot how to do that uh let's see applets okay configure do i add okay there it is and then we got a configure button okay there's the configure button and so there's a different menu and let's see how do we move it um, we go to edit mode and I think we can drag it over here and then we can uh, remove that one are you sure and then we click that and so there's this menu and so uh, let's see can we turn uh, the category icons uh, menu layout mate show under the title show bookmarks and okay how do i um i want to turn that other thing around uh let's see enable scrolling enable file system favorites show favorites show applications okay how about this appearance behavior sidebar show sidebar on menu quit vertical show quick launch uh vertical quit buttons vertical Okay, I want to move the category thing uh, to the left. Sidebar layout. Show sidebar menu panel. Menu layout. Start. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Okay, there it is. Uh, that's how you move it. So that was kind of confusing. It's the mate look. So there you go. And if you like this one, you click that. And so I like the mate one. I think, okay, now we need to check the hover over. Okay, panel, sidebar. Um, where did I see that quick launch? No, panel. Okay, let's see if that works. Come on. Oh, <laughs> no, it's tricking me. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, open the menu, not open the menu. I want to. Um, show, show, show size, enable scrolling. Now, I want to hover somewhere in here. Open. Uh, okay, it's should. It's like the open when I hover. But I don't see it anyway. Uh, so you can do things like that. You know, I don't want to spend most of our time looking at that. What you know, we're just looking at this thing. So there's that menu, and of course, uh, they probably got other menus you can check out, you know, and I'm sure this is a nice system, you know, it's going to run fine, and it's Debian-based, so 
you ain't gonna have no problems there and why can't I grab them windows okay there it goes and so there's the website and you go down uh, here and uh, read all about the release and all that good stuff there it is LN LMDE4 Debbie oh it's a beta release too huh I didn't know it was a beta release and let's see they got uh, 32 64 and there's the bug report downloads and all that good stuff so you know let's close all that uh it's not bad but if you like cinnamon i don't care for it anymore it, it just uh something about it just doesn't do it for me anymore and i'm you know another thing i'm getting really tired of now on most of these distros that i'm i'm, I'm looking at because i look at so many of them is and then when i do come across one that has a really nice software center i'm think I, I just think to myself man you know why do we have this why do why do most of them have this crap you know this is just crap and i, I just don't want to deal with that crap anymore if you're going to give me that you know if that's what you're going to give me i'm not going to use it i'll use something else that uh, looks better than this that's just it is done with that so i guess we'll wrap this up here this was the cinnamon uh build uh debian build uh, uh linux mint debian 4 so i guess i'm out for this one all right